everyone here today endeavoring towards a better, more just future. She is not happy. Create talking avatars with Comfy UI and Live Portrait. Let's get started. Live Portrait is a new face animation method with amazing results. Because it is not a diffusion method, it does not require that you have a very powerful machine or rent expensive cloud GPUs. In this tutorial, we are going to use the Live Portrait node implementation of Kijai. It is easy to install and use. The version from Shadow WCZ allows you to do more things like video to video or to animate more than one person. However, it requires that you download manually the models and that you install Mixlab nodes. Fortunately, we can use Kajai's development version. I will also show you how to use it for video to video and multiple characters. In Comfy UI, go to the manager and search for Live Portrait in custom nodes. Install the first custom node, which is the version from KJ. You need to have Insight Face installed. If you do not have it, follow the instructions shown in the repository. The Insight Face models can be downloaded directly from the last link in the repository. There, go to the examples folder and download the template to do live portrait animations. The template is used through this tutorial. In assets, you have also some images and videos that you can use. Download them and place them in your input folder in Comfy UI. Drag and drop the workflow example over the Comfy UI canvas. It is very easy to use. Just choose the image you want to animate, and then select the video with the face movements you want to use as a reference. The first time you run it will take a little bit longer because the models will be downloaded in your Comfy UI installation. But after that, in just a minute you will be able to create your own live portraits. It is very simple to set and use with the example workflow. You can use the different images and videos from the repository, or you can use your own pictures and videos. At the moment of this recording, the standard repo from Kijai only does one face at a time. Soon, it will be possible to do more faces and video to video by default. But if you cannot wait, you can install the development branch of the repository. If you dare, I will show you how to do it. First, stop your Comfy UI server. In the command line, go to the custom nodes directory of Comfy UI. Delete first the previous installation of the KJ Live Portrait. Now, we are manually going to install the development branch. To do that, write down git clone hyphen b develop. Copy the git address and complete the git clone statement. Now, the development branch is being copied in the custom nodes folder. Go now to the Live Portrait folder. Use the command pip install hyphen r to install the requirements in the requirements.txt file. If you already had installed Live Portrait, it might not be necessary, but if it is a fresh installation, you will need to do it. When finished, return to your main directory and restart Comfy UI. Back in Comfy UI, if you try to run the workflow, you will see that an error pops up. The new version of the nodes requires some changes. Add a new Live Portrait Process node, which is different than the existing. First, reconnect the different cables from the old node to the new one. The default parameters are still good, but as usual, play with them to see what the results are. Live Portrait allows some customization and fine tuning to achieve the best results. Now you can delete the old node. But if you run it again, you see that there is still something missing. With this new node, the position of the face is defined via the crop info input. For that, add the live portrait cropper node. Connect the reference image to the source image input of the cropper node. We will change the device to CUDA. If the connections are right, not it should work again. Fantastic. To do video to video, let's first add a load video node. We are going to use the video of this lady talking with the phone. 
we will transform the video to make it square. This is not always necessary, so feel free to skip this step. For this video, a 720 by 720 crop with an offset of 60 in the x-axis seem to work. We will also change the reference video and use this one of a speech of a politician. You may need to adjust some of the settings of the video loader for optimal results. Make sure that the number of frames of the two videos is the same. The easiest way is to limit them with the shortest video. Set frame load cap of the source images video as input and use the count of frames of the guidance video. Finally, replace the source image connections with the video source you want to change. As you see, the center video keeps the video source image from the right, but the movement of lips and eyes follows the movement from the video on the left. If you want the look to be more similar to the guiding video, change the relative parameter to false. Now the video follows more closely the guiding video on the left. Not perfect, but you can fine tune the different parameters to make it more realistic. Let's now see how we can animate different faces in one image. Let's use this popular image and animate the three faces. Start running the workflow with the standard settings. We see that the lady on the front is the first to be animated. To each of the faces, an index number is recognized by the face cropper node. If we change it to 2, let's see what happens. Now is the second woman who looks that is talking. Thus, the man face will have the index 1. To animate more than one face, we need to repeat the live portrait construction and connect it in series. Duplicate the live portrait process and cropper. Change the face index to 1. Duplicate the load video node. Connect the new video node to the driving image of the new live portrait video. Load now the video you want to use for the boy. The full images from the first live portrait process node are used as a source image for the new live portrait cropper and process nodes. Connect the new full images to the video combine node to see if it works. Remember that different videos will have different number of frames, so we will adjust again the load video nodes to use the smallest number of frames. You can use other tricks, like repeating the videos, so the final result adjusts to your goals. And here we have two out of the three faces animated. To do the third, we just need to repeat the process. Duplicate the load video node. Select the driving video you want to use. Duplicate the live portrait nodes and change the index for zero, which is the index of the lady in the red dress. Connect the new video to the last live portrait process node and use the resulting images of the second process node as a source images of the third. Rinse and repeat. Make sure the number of frames all match. And here the result the unfaithful boyfriend meme becomes live. And she is not happy about it. Thanks for watching.